Hi everyone, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today to share my latest make with you. So everything I talk about is available on our lovely website and you'll find links to our website and all the products I mentioned below. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. If you can't wait a whole week, do jump on and check out our social media accounts. We're in all the usual places and I've linked those below. So I'm just about to show you one of my latest makes and I'm trying out a new camera angle today so that you can better see the full length of the garment. So do let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this new angle. Um, but this is McCall's 8211. I made the sundress version in our John Caldor Lizano cotton lawn fabric. Um, it's a really beautiful cotton fabric with a lovely silky handle. I've made lots of things in this over the years and it never ever fails. It never ever disappoints. Um, it's always just beautiful quality, washes and wears well. Um, as you can see, it's got that lovely drape and movement. It was perfect for this sundress and I just love the popping colours as well. Look at those gorgeous bright colours. We've got orange, turquoise, pink, all set against a dark navy background. So they really pop and I, I love that. You know, I love my bright colors. Um, so it's got a, um, the front piece of the bodice is gathered um, into, it's got a casing or a tunnel that's created. And then you thread a drawstring through that and um, gather it up there. It's got a, a seam under the bust and then a cummerbund. And there's an option for a um, cummerbund with sort of gathers or ruching on it. Um, but I chose the flat one. I just wanted something simple and flat there because of the gathers and the ruching created by the drawstring and also the gathered skirt as well. Um, so I decided to just make the flat cummerbund. And then at the back, it's halter neck. Um, it fastens with an invisible zip at the back. And yeah, it's just got this lovely gathered skirt. I wore this on holiday. It was lovely. Um, I think it's a really nice day dress, but I wore it out for a meal in the evening as well. Um, definitely will wear this loads and loads during the summer at all different yeah, occasions, you know, even to work if it's a really hot day. Um, but yeah, just out and about at weekends and things. Um, it's just a lovely casual day summer dress. So yeah, I'm really pleased with it. And it was lovely and simple to make as well. I'll just talk to you in a bit more detail about the pattern. The fabric and the pattern are available on our website, so I've linked them below. So do check those links out. Um, I think this fabric as well, the other thing I should say is I just think it would make a lovely blouse as well for the autumn, winter. Um, you know, it would give you a lovely bit of lift and a lovely bit of bright colour to wear with your jeans. Um, you could put a cardigan on over it and be nice and cosy, but it's just a lovely cotton fabric or a nice shirt perhaps would look gorgeous in this as well. Um, the pattern is McCall's 8211 um, and it comes in sizes from an 8 to a 32, so a really good size range on this one. 31 and a half bust, 24 waist, 33 and a half hip for the size eight. And for the size 32, it's a 54 bust, 49 waist and 56 hip. There's a few different views. So the sundress view that I did is supposed to have this ruched um, cummerbund and then a tiered skirt with three tiers to it. I didn't go for the tiered skirt because I've had a bit of a tiered skirt obsession this year and I've made a lot of tiered skirts. So I just wanted a gathered skirt and decided to go with that option instead, which was from one of the other views. Um, this view is A and B. So A is like a bardo neckline, um, elasticated and gathered round the neckline and then cute little puff sleeves. It's an off the shoulder design. It's got the plain cummerbund that I've used on here without any ruching and then the gathered skirt. And then view B has got more of a square neckline, again, elasticated round the neckline. And then it's got cute little flutter short sleeves 
um, the plain cummerbund and the gathered skirt. So as I've done, you can just mix and match them. Um, I know it's been a really popular pattern. I've seen so many lovely versions of this online, lots of versions of the short sleeves um, views. So yeah, really good pattern. Um, really liked it. Easy, easy peasy. So I mean, the most complex thing you've got to do is insert an invisible zip. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. If you make the sundress version like me, it's super easy to fit because all you've got to fit is your bust and your waist, really. You don't have to worry about your hips because it's a gathered skirt, so there's plenty of room in that. Um, and if you did make one of the versions with the sleeves, because um, they're flutter sleeves or it's a bardo sort of off the shoulder version you're not going to have a lot of issues in the armhole area on those designs either so it's always nice when things are nice and easy to construct and to make um, the sizing wise I made I, I was going to make a 12 and grade to a 14 at the hips and the waist because it's quite fitted around the waist um, I thought I need to make a 14 the 12 might be a bit small there um, but actually what happened was um, I cut it out and I tacked it together because it's so quick and easy I mean there's not even any darts or anything to sew it really is super quick and easy um, I thought well I'll just tack it together the bodice and just try it for size around my body and I was really glad I did because I found that actually it was far too big um, I had a lot of excess fabric at the centre back seam um, and I was able to really size down on that centre back seam I think I went down to about an eight at the top of the cummerbund um, and I did grade back out to a 14 at the waist though um, but my top tip would be I did read another blog somewhere where somebody said they'd had the same issue it came at really big round the waist but my top tip is just you know cut out the size that you think or make a toile is the best thing you can do but if you're a confident sewer like me um, you could just cut out your size do what I did just tack it together um, and just try it on for size you can even just try the cummerbund on for size just think about where that would be on your body and you'll be able to see if you need to downsize it a bit and the other thing is making adjustments there it was dead straightforward because um, the skirts gathered so I could just ease the gathers to fit whatever size I ended up with on the bodice if that makes sense um, so there was a little bit of fiddling there but literally like not a big deal at all really pretty easy um yeah just tried it on and and made sure i was happy with where i wanted the seam line to go um and then just marked that on the fabric and and went from there um so yeah nice and easy to sew invisible zips the only sort of technique that's you know slightly advanced i would say um the drawstring and the around the neckline's nice and easy you can just use a safety pin or a bodkin to thread that through um, I made the drawstring strap on my, because um, it's like a Rolu, it's like a really thin strap. I made that on my overlocker. There's a famous trick that I've shared many times on the channel um, where you can leave a long chain of overlocker threads, put those down the center of the strap on the right side of the fabric, fold the fabric over, um, keep your chain of threads free of where you're going to stitch then stitch down the raw uh, stitch the raw edges together with your right sides together and then you'll be able to use the chain of stitches to pull and turn that strap through the only thing I will say actually though was it this project I think it might have been this project it was a very 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 long strap um, and it took a lot of patience to turn it through and I think I did think at one point oh well, maybe I would have been better off doing this the traditional method but I, I think it would be fiddly whatever you did because it is a long strap um, but yeah the gathered skirt obviously is nice and easy to sew I like to just sew three lines of gathering stitches takes a little bit more time but gives you a more even gather and more control over the gathers plus if one of the threads breaks you've got a backup you know you haven't got to start all over again um but yeah there isn't really anything else to say about this pattern i'd highly recommend it if you need a last minute sewing project for a holiday you haven't got enough sundresses this would be the one for me that i would turn to again um, and I just love the fact as well that it's quite cinched in at the waist 
Um, however, my tummy's sort of down here under the gathers. So actually, you know, I've got plenty of breathing room. I feel really comfortable. If I want to go out for dinner um, and, you know, have, have a nice big dinner and I feel bloated afterwards, it's not gonna be a problem in this dress. I'm not gonna be uncomfortable. And that's the thing I really, really love about it. And just once again, let's just have a moment for this gorgeous, gorgeous Lizano fabric. Really love this and I'm so glad I got around to making something up in it. So that's my thoughts on McCall's 8211. As I said at the start of the video, you can find the pattern and the fabric on our website. There's tutorials on lots of the techniques I've talked about on our channel as well. So I'll try and link any of the relevant ones below for you. But just remember, if you do like what you see today, please do like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.